just do this and you don't worry about it? Yeah, well, all right, let's, yeah. let's start now. So we'll do 20 minutes of work and then uh, you know, five or 10 minutes of questions. Okay? All right, so we have to work like extra. Uh, uh, same. Okay, so let's start now.
Thank mm -hmm. you. 
sounds complicated. Um, I'm just trying. And you say you say you're blocked. I mean, the, the tricky thing is that sometimes work comes easily, and sometimes it doesn't come so easily, right? I mean, I think the fact that you're showing up and you're working. The fact that you're showing up and working is huge, okay? And I think, I think when we're blocked, you know, I think that's the best thing we can do, even if it doesn't feel so great. Show up and put the time in. That's so important because a lot of times we think, oh yeah, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll wait until I feel good with it. You know what I mean? And you know, ten years could go by. Right? I mean, really, and I'm you guys laughing, yeah, because you know, you know, I mean, a lifetime, people live, right? So I think the best thing to do is just show up and put the time in, even if it's just like 30 minutes, you know, even if it's 15 minutes. Go ahead. What's your deadline? The has got a deadline. Okay, and so have you broken it down like how many pages you have to do a day or? Deadline, he's got people waiting for the play, which puts a, I mean, it's a good pressure. You've got it, you kind of got to get it done, right? Um, here's a question Are you going to feel okay? Are you going to feel okay um, handing it off to them when it's not really done? Okay, okay, okay. But as long as you're comfortable handing off a quote unquote unfinished, you know, piece to your folks. I mean, you trust these people, they adore you, they love you, they're going to be very supportive. Then, okay, well, that could work too because then they're not going to sit around and. That wasn't us. <laughs> that was not much work. Um, I hope everybody's okay over there. Um, so, but as long, so it's a grad school application. So that could work also because um, they're not going to sit around and tell you how to fix it. You see what I mean? So that's actually okay. As long as you feel okay about it, it's all right handing off something that's not completely baked, you know? Um, so I would just say keep putting the time in. Keep, that's the most important thing, you know? Um, because a lot of times we sit around thinking, Okay, and you, it sounds like every you've gotten over that. You know, you got to put the you say five hours a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I guess I I don't know if it's helpful, but know that you're not alone in the process of having a hard time and just you know. And what happens is if you just keep putting the time in, you're going to get some like, wow, that scene works. Oh, that's a mess. Oh, that fits good. Oh, wow, I figured out that part. You're gonna get like. It's going to be like that? Well, well, you're not staring at the screen. You're putting in five hours. I mean, are you type? Are you moving your hands on the keyboard? Ah, uh, I would suggest go ahead and just. No, no, no. Well, not randomly. Randomly was well. Actually, Durham wasn't randomly typing. He was typing with great, you know, effort. But I would say, tell the story as best you can given how much you know and how much you don't know. So I would say instead of sitting there staring at it, just like like when he was learning to walk, <laughs> right? I mean, we would have quit. I would have quit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna hold on to I know, I'm just kidding. But you know what I mean, you know, right? I mean, we would have quit, we would have quit, right? But, but, right, okay, so we, we have to like, like that. And then sometimes it comes to us, you know what I mean? Sometimes it's like perfect the first time out and it's no sweat. Yay. But sometimes it is very good. Or when he runs, I mean, you laugh. 
But I bet, you know, I bet in a year he's going to be like, but now it's like, that's, I mean, I don't laugh at him to his face, but you know what I'm saying? Um, so I think we have to just put the time in and like, get your hands on the keys or take up your pen or however you write and just go through the motions. And it's going to feel like, have you ever had blood taken where there's an inexperienced, <laughs> what do they call it? Uh, Phlebotomist. Phlebotomist. Right, 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 right. Okay? So there you go. Hi, I'm new. And you're like, oh, shit. You never <laughs> announce that. You right. Can't announce well, but, well, what they do is they jab, 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 jab. And they're not good. And if you're, like, you're sitting there, me. <laughs> and she's, or he is jabbing, you know? Like that, and that's what it feels like. I always think, oh man, that's what it's like. Yeah. You're just jabbing away. You're trying to find the vein. I gotta keep jabbing until I find it. You know, just, just that's necessary because the flow will come. It will come. The what I call a vomit draft will give way to your beautiful draft. You just have to put the time in. And you have to be willing to to not be very good. Sometimes. No, always. Sometimes it's easy. You know, sometimes it comes, ooh, but, but yeah. Okay. Okay, keep, she, she keeps showing up on the 15th of December, so come back when we're back on the, after Thanksgiving, whatever that Thursday is, come back and visit us and check in. I just want you to put, get some, get some pages. Because when you write it, then you can rewrite it. Okay? And if you think of, try to think of the end points of the scene. Where do you want character A to be at the end of the scene? What do you want him to discover? What do you want character C to discover right at the end of the scene? Remember, so you get those endpoints and then make it flow, flow more effectively. Okay. Okay. Anybody else? Yes, hi. I'm dancing sideways and it's very, very frustrating. Yeah? I mean, I tried, I tried to dance forward, like you said, right. and all of a sudden I started just, I... You, you didn't just write to the end? Yeah. And that, see, you just have to, you know what I mean? I've done that uh, on like everything I've ever written, you just, you just hurl yourself. Have you seen, have you ever seen like the Olympics? Yeah. Like the Olympics, no, the Olympics. You know, and they go to the finish line, oh, they go like that. They don't just, they don't do that, right? They hurl themselves across the line, ah, like that. That's how they do it. Sometimes you just have to throw yourself across the finish line. And then you can make it better. And then you can rewrite it. But if you're kind of sitting back there going, well, let's see, it's a 100-yard dash, you know. Oh, I, I don't know. Even if you don't know where the finish line is, well, the finish line is where you finish telling the story for the moment. Okay? You know where they reach something that seems like the end, right? I mean, we know, we know where the finish line is. You know where. It might be different when you do your rewrite. You know? But the finish line for now is what you decide on, and you have to hurl yourself toward that. You can't sit back and Right? Because you just got to do it. No one's going to see it but you. Okay? Walk around. When you walk around the city, when you walk around during the day, tell yourself the story of your play. My play is about a woman or a man, and then the da, and then the da, 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 and then this happens, and then this happens, and in the end, this happens. In the end. My play is about, you do that over, I do that over and over and over. I'm always talking, uh, telling myself the story of my play or my novel or whatever, <clears throat> you know? But you really have to hurl yourself toward the end. It is an act of courage, you know? You, you just got to do it. And none of this. Just, just write it out. Oh, wow, write the crappiest dialogue, the dullest resolution. Come on, get in a contest. You can be in a contest with me. No one's going to see it. No one's seeing mine. Did anyone see what I wrote today? Ooh. No. <laughs> you know? Write the dumbest stuff you can think of. Blah, blah, blah. This is stupid. 
you know, then it'll start to take shape. You know, the primordial slime, you know, where we who believe in that sort of thing believe that we all came from. What if, like, you know, slime was like, well, I don't want to be slime, man. I want to come out stepping, you know, I want to look good. I want to come out like a woman. Day one. No. It was like slime. <laughs> you know, there, there's this wonderful, just a uh, wonderful production of 59 East 59th Street with Eileen Akins and, and Michael uh, Gambon. Uh, it's a it's a reading of a Beckett radio play, but it's staged. But Eileen Akins, and it's of course his same themes about death and, right, and the right, surgery. Right. But she was often going like this, just you know this, yeah. this, 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 and that's what it feels like. I remember thinking, oh my God, I understand. You know, this is right. just. Yes. But that's no excuse. No. <laughs> I saw that in a Beckett play, so I... <laughs> Beckett didn't do that. He was actually in this, he was throwing himself across the finish line. Yeah. You know, that would, but... You know? No, I didn't mean that. He yeah, I know, I know, I know. I'm still in hard time. Know. So, when are you going to do it? Like... By the time we come back. Okay, just, just okay, write the worst, worst... Worst... Just, you know, try to be the worst... We have to go there, you know what I mean? We have, to, we have to be willing to go there. And it is hard. It is a difficult place to go. You know? Anybody else? You're good. Yeah, things are coming together. Yeah, they're coming together. See? They come together, but you gotta do yourself to cross the face. Remember when Stacy was like, I don't know, you know, because that's not my thing. <laughs> <you know? laughs> yourself a chance. Yes. Right? These baby okay. dolls. Huh? These baby dolls. Right? I know, the baby dolls. My thing today was uh, distraction, but I think we're kind of out of time. Um, I really want, I did, but I did want to talk about distraction and how you can, how to get your work done in the midst of, oh my gosh, you know, I've got a busy day or a busy thing going on, like that. It's amazing how you can actually get your work done even with a lot of distractions going on. It's actually possible. The conditions for work do not have to be perfect. You know, you just have to be determined. You know, and it's not always going to be possible to be so determined. But uh, just know that, that it's it's very possible to get your work done. So we get out of the, the cycle. Not that any of you were suggesting this, but we get out of the thing of blaming. Like, I can't do my work because my spouse wants me to, because my kid, because my job, because, 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 because. We get out of that cycle. And we get into the, you know, the sort of Brother Malcolm, you know, any means necessary. Yes. We got a cup. Hello. We can get this done, right? Uh, because that's how important it is to get it done. So. And, and I would suggest that, you know, things like fear and worry and writer's block, all those things are really distractions. It's just, it's just you telling yourself that you don't know. Or you can't, you, you can't write until it's perfect. And I, I have the same issues, you know. That's why I talk about them all the time. But, um, yeah. So, just about distraction. Do you have... Exactly. You know how to do it. Yeah, we used to do watch work downstairs when they were doing the construction in the lobby. And we just like keep on keeping on. And it was almost nice. And that's why I brought it just like singly, you know, try to throw me off my game. <laughs> 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 Not unless you know we wanted to. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, um, I'm gonna. I gotta go to so I can uh, shout a surprise happy birthday to someone who's turning 70 today, which is very exciting. I know someone, Irene Ganey, who's a press. Oh, I hope she's not in the you know surprise party. But anyway.
Anyway, we'll see you. Have a happy Thanksgiving, and we'll see you the Thursday after Thanksgiving. Thank you. Oh, oh. Can you help me? 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 Can you